is Google? Um, how does it work? Um, advertising on Google, uh, why Google matters, and some of the common issues that I see that uh, people run into when they use uh, the Google search engine. Um, first, what is Google? Um, Google is two things. Um, it is a search engine and what a search engine does is um, it helps you retrieve information that is stored um, on another computer, on another server. Um, it's stored somewhere else and what Google has been able to do is it has been able to crawl uh, the internet, um, find that information and store it in its own database so that when you search uh, the web you actually search Google's version of the web and Google's version of the web is all of the web pages that they've decided are relevant uh, for their users to see. The second thing that Google is is Google is also an advertising company and in fact they're the biggest advertising company on the internet. Um, not a lot of people know that but Google is powered by advertising. Um, let me show you a, a quick example of um, how Google makes its money. I'm going to do a quick search here and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be flying to San Francisco. So this is a very um, common thing that people do when they're on Google. They look for flights and what Google does is they do um, a, a, few ver a few very cool things. Um, the first thing is they actually um, show you um, some very direct flights from San Francisco um, to LA to New York and to Chicago. Um, it also leads you down to uh, right here uh, what looks like um, websites where you can book um, a flight um, out of San Francisco or to San Francisco. Um, and um, what I wanted to show you though is this area in the beige it is the um, advertising and you can tell it's the advertising because Google actually labels it as ads right over here right there and right there so all of these um, these uh, three results here those are all advertising all of the results that you see on this right side these are all ads and that is how Google essentially makes its money it matches ads from advertisers, um, in this case airlines, uh, travel companies, um, and, and matches those ads to relevant searches. And in this case, it was our search for a flight um, to San Francisco. Um, how does Google work? Um, Google, uh, what Google does is it, it, it sorts and sifts through the internet and applies its own uh, methodology, uh, what it calls its algorithm, uh, to determine which sites uh, should rank at the very top and which sites um, you know, won't rank at the very top and uh, will go to the second page or the third page. Google does all of that automatically. There is no human interference um, that they say that alters their search results so that uh, when you search for a Chanel bag, it, it's going to show the, the Chanel company. Um, if you show um, Chanel sucks, you know, it, it's going to show you what uh, relevant results to Chanel sucks. And if you actually take a look at these, um, not a lot of people think that Chanel sucks. Um, there's a Disney Chanel or maybe a Disney Channel over here that sucks but um, not a lot of people think Chanel sucks and you know what that makes sense because uh, my girlfriend has a Chanel bag and um, she doesn't think it sucks. <laughs> so um, going back um, to why Google matters, um, Google matters because it has really revolutionized the way um, we think about information, the way we access information, and the way we use information in our daily lives. Uh, Google, um, as well as the, the internet in general, has made um, information um, literally available at your fingertips at any time of the day, so that if you want to find out um, Alexander the Great's exact battle plan, you know, from Macedonia 
into India, um, you can find that out, you know, probably on Wikipedia and a few other sites uh, right now. And, and what Google does is it makes it very, very easy for you to find information. It makes it easy for you to find um, untainted information, in my opinion. Um, I know there's, there's some controversy around uh, the world about, you know, Google search results, but in my opinion, um, you know, Google's results are very fair. And, you know, if, if you know how to use it right, Google will provide you um, a lot of great information. So I'm going to go into uh, a couple of different things now. I'm going to actually show um, and go through some searches on Google that I've never done before. And we're going to be uh, trying to find the answers to some of these questions. Um, I don't know the answers to these questions, um, but you know, I, what I want to show you is the mental process that I go through when I do a Google search. So the search that we're going to do um, in this example is the names of Harry Potter's best friends. The names of Harry Potter's best friends. Um, when I do a Google, Google search and it is a, a question like that, what I typically do and what you should do as well is to just ask that question um, directly to Google. So this is how you do it. And Harry Potter's best friends. So, so there you go. Um, it looks like um, we have a result there. Um, what is Harry Potter's best friend's name? Name of the actor that plays Harry Potter's best friend. Um, but the question is, who are all of his best friends? Um, who is in that gang? So this first result here, um, it seems like it's Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. There's your answer. Does he have any other friends? Um, I don't know. check here and we'll do it in control F there's a lot of information there we won't do that okay so I think we have the names of his best friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Ranger so that is the first tip that I wanted to go through uh, with Google is when you have a question and you're trying to find the answer and you're stumped in terms of how to, uh, what words to enter into Google, uh, my tip is to just enter that question um, as if you were talking to Google. And, and that's what I did here. And I, I asked Google, what are the names of Harry Potter's best friends? And it was able to interpret what I feel is a, a, a pretty good answer. So um, what, what, what we're doing here is we're casting your search to be as wide as possible. You, you, you first want to do your search broad. And if that broad search doesn't find anything, we'll narrow it down. Um, just like when you go fishing and you cast a broad net, if that doesn't catch anything, maybe we'll zone in on an area and, and make a, another attempt there. So. That's what we did here. We cast a wide net, and luckily we were able to catch Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. The second tip that I want to go through today is um, figuring out how to do um, a, a, a search that may have multiple answers. Um, and that search is going to be um, trying to find the name of the CEO of the biggest biotech company in the world. So I have about 40 seconds to do that. So I'm going to try that right now. Biotech company in the world. The biggest biotech company in the world. Um, uh, bio, those are pharmaceutical. Biotech. It looks like it is uh, Pfizer. Um, and the CEO of Pfizer is Ian Reed, right here. So I did that with about three seconds to spare. Thank you very much. We'll see you at the next video.